Let's continue with another model. There's a couple more things I'd like to show you with regards to tendons. Click this set display options button and we go to other assignments. You'll notice under tendon objects there are a few display options which are now included. Number of strands, uh, tendon system, uh, total length, uh, jacking force, as well as elongation have all been included to be viewed on the screen. So if I click apply, zoom in a little bit, you can take a look at all the parameters that have been selected. If we scroll to the right hand side here, we can see the jacking force upon this tendon, uh, the total length, uh, as well as the elongation which has been shown, the number of strands, the length of the tendon itself. So these are just a few more graphical viewing options available for tendons. Why don't we go ahead and run this model and take a look at some of the output in regards to post-tensioning design. There's been some design updates that have been included in this version of ETABS version 20. So once the analysis has been run, if we go to design, concrete slab design, start design, here we can see the design of the slab has been performed. So if I go to design, again concrete slab design, we can take a look at a few different things. Display flexural design, and you'll notice there has been updated reporting for PT slab design. If I click on display type, down at the bottom you'll notice flexural moment capacities. And you have the ability to select either for positive and or negative capacity. Uh, layer A or layer B. So enhanced with tabular and graphic displays of the moment capacity at every station of the design strips as well as a tabular display of pre-compression due to PT along the strips. Those are the two major things that have been added here in reference to PT design. So again I can put my cursor over the tendon itself to get top and bottom moment capacity. This is in kip feet right now. And of course I can right click on the tendon itself or the strip itself to get more detailed information. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more things in reference to loading this time. So if we go to the define menu, load patterns, uh, we can define a wind load case. There has been a new code that has been added for auto wind loading. So if we select wind type, the Australian New Zealand code for 2021 has been implemented. So if we click on modify lateral load, you'll notice that all the wind exposure parameters have been included, torsional and moment options, as well as re regional wind speed and terrain category have all been added to ETABS version 20. The other item that has been added in reference to loading is the temperature gradient loads. So if I click on assign shell loads, now this can be assigned to a frame object as well. And if I click on temperature, you'll see temperature loads have been included here and can be assigned to either frames or shells, representing a change in temperature across the depth that tends to cause bending. So you'll notice here uh, under object temperature type, a couple different options available, uh, temperature gradient, where you enter in the value here, you have the option to select corner joint temperature option uh, if the uniform temperature change has been selected. And of course adding this to any load pattern and different object temperature options available to the user as well. Another new feature that has been added is that time dependent behavior of concrete has been added for specific codes. So if we take a look at uh, material properties we can click on concrete, modify show material, and if you select the time dependent properties, you'll notice these are the different time dependent uh, options available. And what has been included is AS 3600 uh, 2018. And also, uh, time dependence considered uh, for creep and shrinkage have been updated to include uh, scale factors as well. So you'll notice all the parameters can be set in this form here, as well as the ability to show the plot. We bring this over. You can see and select the item display. Currently it's showing mean strength 
Uh, you can include stiffness, uh, creep coefficient, as well as shrinkage strain based upon uh, the time range to plot. So let's take a look at another model. Wanted to touch upon a few new things that are included in eTabs in reference to performance base design. So nonlinear frame hinges can now be automatically generated for coupling beams for the ASCE 41 table 1019. So if I just go ahead and click on assign frame hinges, I can show you where that's located. So under auto hinge assignment data for tables ASCE 4117 here you have the ability to select between a few different options in this case we're talking about the steel beams and flexor uh, as well as concrete columns for shear wall uh, concrete coupling beams spandrel flexural control also what's been included is that the hysteresis type can now be specified for certain types of auto generated frame hinges so if we select uh, modify show can see all the different hysteresis types which are now available including isotropic, kinematic, Takeda, pivot, and the ones listed below. Another new item that has been included can be found underneath the shell, a reinforcement for wall hinge. So user specified rebar material is now available for defining vertical and horizontal wall hinge reinforcement. So if I select uniform rebar ratio, you'll notice the vertical and horizontal rebar options become enabled, allowing you to specify the ratio per specific rebar material. Now you have the ability to define as many different rebar materials as you like underneath define material properties. And once you do so, all of those will be populated in this pull down menu, allowing you to update uh, the rebar ratio. And lastly, one update in reference to performance based design and hinges for that matter is uh, imports from Perform 3D now support nonlinear components, including uh, moment hinge, rotation type, shear hinge, displacement type, PMM hinges, uh, concrete rotation type. So these options are now available in eTabs version 20. I'll show you how to access that. If you had interest in importing a model from Perform 3D, simply go to the File menu, Import, and you'll notice all the import options are available, and including Perform 3D structural file uh, here on the bottom. So as you can see, there has been many new enhancements included in eTabs version 20. Please visit our website, csiamerica.com, for more information. Thank you.